Hey besties, so what I'm gonna be working on today is the grab and go cup. I am gonna do this for the Chip Ahoy and the Oreo cookie. If you do choose to use the Cheez-It, it is slightly smaller. You're gonna use 10.4 by 4.3. The circle that's gonna be used for the top of the cup is gonna be 3.5 by 3.5. This is larger than what is used for the Pringles. So just keep in mind that if you do want to do this for Pringles, some of those measurements are going to vary. So you can refer to my Pringles video. Although I can use print and cut to design and cut out my template, I am just going to print out a page in Photoshop and have Cricut cut it out just as a standard basic cut. That way I don't have to go through print and cut and I can use the bottom of my sheet for something else. You can cut out circles on that bottom part. You can cut out the strips that are going to go around the cup, different things. I am adding my son's name to it as well. This is something that I also did in Photoshop. I'm going to also print this sheet from my Lego Hot Wheel design so you'll see this one as well in the video. So heading back to Cricut, I am going to do a printing cut on these two items. I also am going to use this piece and I'm going to cut it out on the same page as I do my wrap. So that bottom half of the sheet, that is what I'm going to use to cut off, out that piece. I'm going to change that to a basic cut and I'm going to change it to the same color as my cup wrap. Okay, so after changing some colors, let's go ahead and go to make it. I'm going to also adjust the number of prints that I'm going to do. The material size starts off at A4, so I always change that to letter, and then I will adjust my project copies. Sometimes once you've done that, it will put some of your prints on another page, so I typically just adjust it and send it back to that first page. my wrap is concerned I'm going to do a A4 size even though I'm still cutting it on a letter size sheet of paper it just not it's not going to show up there because anything over 10.5 they're going to go to 11 but if you scroll down you'll see that it doesn't go past the 11 so it will still cut without a problem Another thing that I wanted to note is that you can also do this with Pringles, which I'll show you at the end of the video. However, just make sure that the car that you're going to be buying, if you're buying all of one car, make sure that it fits under the Pringle dome. I did have some issues with the sizing. Some were too long. So just keep that in mind before you buy a bunch of them that some may not fit under the smaller size dome.
few things I wanted to note before we end the video. Like I was telling you guys earlier in the video about not all of the cars fitting. As you can see, that one fit fine. This one does not. It's a little too tall. This one does. Um, this one is a little too long. It does not fit. But, you know, there's a good amount that do. Like this one, this one would fit. And I want to say this one will fit. You shouldn't have any problem with the grab and go cups because there are, you know, plenty of extra room in those. The Legos I did also get from the Dollar Tree so you don't have to buy like any expensive Legos or anything like that. And then I did use this same template that I showed on the video uh, for, for the Pringles as well. I just made it 4.5 cut it with scissors or a paper cutter you're good to go I use the bottom of it to wrap around okay if you decided that you didn't want to use your Cricut you can also just print out one which I'll make available and you can use one as a template and just cut around it it's super simple um, which I did plenty of times when I didn't want to wait for a Cricut to cut it so you can also like I said use one as a template and cut all of them on your own if you guys have any questions please let me know down below in the comments i thank you as always for watching and i'll see you on the next video